Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Fake Profile Detection on Social Networking Websites Using Machine Learning, which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, as we know that the internet is growing everywhere all over the world, the same way the usage of social networking is also happens all over the world and all over the people. The people come to social networking sites to spend their time for various reasons, but some of the fake users will be creating some fake accounts to sell some products or cheat some people for making money or they may threaten or make cyberbullying. So there are various reasons for creating these kinds of fake profiles. So here in the base paper, the authors have proposed a system for detecting the fake profile detection on social networking website using machine learning and they have used SGBoost algorithm for making the classification. And here in the base paper, we are not going to implement the same as mentioned in the base paper. So we are going to enhance some features other than the base paper. So here the drawbacks that is mentioned in the base paper is like they are prescribed about the social networking website, but they are not prescribed about any particular website. So they are generally mentioned about the social networking websites only. So now we are going to enhance the system so now let us see about other enhancements so here you can see the IEEE base paper title is fake profile detection on social networking website using machine learning or our proposed project title is instagram fake account detection using machine learning so we are going to concern about the instagram social networking website only and here you can see the IEEE base paper abstract or let us see about the a proposed abstract so here in the proposed system so we'll be implementing two different models so the, we have used two different models for our proposed systems. So the first model using random forest classifier and the second model using the decision tree classifier. So the first model that is using random forest classifier, we have achieved the train score of 100% and test score of 93%. And uh, the second model of decision tree classifier, we have achieved train score of 92% and test score of 92%. So from the two models, we'll be proving that the random forest classifier is performing well on it. So now coming to the coming back to the abstract part. So here you can see the abstract that we have mentioned about the instagram fake account detection using machine learning using python we have done that and we have used the two distinct algorithms like random forest classifier and decision tree so here you can see the accuracy of the models and coming to the data set part so we have used the data set which contains 576 data set records and there will be 12 distinct features on it so there are various uh, features on it so i'll show you the data set part now so this is the data set that we have used so as mentioned you can see scroll down and you can see which contains around 576 data set records and here you can see the two 12 uh, distinct features like profile pic numbers by length of the user full name words numbers by length of full name name is equal to username description length external url private number of posts number of followers number of follows and fake that is labeled as zero or one so these are this is the data set that we are going to train up the system coming back to the abstract document so here uh, as mentioned so we'll be using uh, python and we'll be uh, finding out the account is fake or not this is the about the existing system so we are considering the base paper as existing so as mentioned the base paper they have used sgboost algorithm so we have described about the existing system part here and coming to the next part that is the disadvantages of the existing system so we are listed the disadvantages of the existing system that is using the sgboost and coming to the proposed system so we have mentioned about the proposed system what we have done in it and next part is the advantages of the proposed system so these are the advantages that we have listed of about about our proposed system in the system architecture you can find that input data set and we are going to make the free processing and feature selection and we have applied the random forest classifier and decision tree classifier and the predicted result is it is a fake or real account and we'll be showing the performance analysis and the graph part of it 
in the system requirements you can see the hardware and software requirements as mentioned we have developed using python the version that we have used is python 3.10.9 and web framework is flask and the front end part we have done using html css and javascript and this is the reference of the project is the base paper of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned the requirement file with the exact version of the python and the library is installed in your system now let us see the execution of the project so just copy, go to the source code location copy the source code location now go to the command prompt now go to the drive location where you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted my code in f drive i'll go to the f drive now now type cd and give space and paste the location that we are copied and click enter so now we are into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few seconds so now you can see the url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to google chrome now paste the url that we are copied and click enter so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title instagram fake account detection using machine learning so first click this login menu so once if you click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so just select this choose file now go to the source code location and select the upload.csv file and then click this upload button so once i've uploaded the page will be navigated to the preview page so where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded so as mentioned shown here earlier you can see the features like id profile pic number length user full name words so all the 12 features you can see here and if you scroll down till the end you can find the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part with the, all the 575 data set records now you can just click this click to try not test button and kindly wait for few seconds So now you can see the training finish message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction part. So where you need to enter the details and check whether the prediction result, whether the account is a fake or not. So here you can see the two models that is model with random forest classifier and decision tree classifier. So you can check with the any more any one model by selecting the model and i'll show you with the few cases now so now let me enter the profile pick as yes ratio of numbers by length username is uh, 0 0.55 full name words as one ratio of numbers full length full name is 0 0.44 and username is equal to name is equal to username no description length is 0 external url is no account private is no total number of posts is 33 total number of followers is 166 and total follows is 596 and here you can select the model as mentioned i will show you with the random forest classifier and click this predict button so now you can see the prediction result is the account is the instagram account is it is a fake account so what are the details that is mentioned it is a fake account the model that is we have used is random forest classifier so i'll show you with the uh, as we are not using any database the values that we have entered has been reset now so i'll i'll just enter the same values again and i'll show you with the other model also quickly So now let me select the model as decision tree classifier and click the predict button. So now you can see the decision tree model also is classified this account and predicted the result is all is a fake account. 
So in this way, you can just check with both the models uh, whether uh, random forest at uh, decision tree uh, maximum both will be showing the same result as we got only the few difference percentage in the accuracy. So let me show you with the other case now with the profile picture. Yes. Uh, ratio of numbers zero full name words two ratio of numbers then name zero user name is equal to username no description length is 63 external url is no account private is no total number of posts is 378 total number of followers is 34670 total followers is 1878 so now let us check with the model random for us and click the predict button and now you can see the model predicted the instagram account is real so uh, i'll show you with uh, a case of real now for example i'll take an account of ours so let me type jp infotech instagram let me take this example so here if you wanted to check again just click this prediction menu again so now it has reset it now we are in the prediction menu so now the profile picture is available so i'll click profile picture yes so ratio of numbers i have not used any numbers in the username so it is zero full name words so full name words we have three words as full name words so here also we don't have number so let me give zero username name is equal to username so i have the username and the name is same so i'll give it as yes description length so description length will be around 150 characters maybe i'll uh, just enter approximate of 150 characters and uh, external url yes i have given uh, external url jpinfotech.org so i'll just enter that yes an account is private no this is not a private account this is a public account so uh, i'll click yes total number of posts i have posted is 101 post so i'll just enter 101 and number total followers is 275 followers so i'll just enter 275 followers and following is zero i just enter zero so now let us check for this case and click the predict button and now you can see the model random forest classified predicted this instagram account is a real one so in this scenario you can check with uh, some other cases also so now let me come to the prediction menu again so now let me enter the case with profile picture yes ratio number 0.07 full name words as one there's a zero other one as no description length as zero external url no private as yes total number of posts as zero total number of followers is 47 and total followers is 98 and let me click the predict so now you can see this account is predicted as a fake account so in this way you can check with the other cases so this is not limited only to the things that i have mentioned there are uh, as i mentioned you there are uh, around uh, 500 data set records you can check with uh, each and every one with both the models and you can just find the results of it so now to make the video shorter i'll move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis so now you can see the performance analysis of both the models that is random forest classifier and for the decision tree classifier. So in the performance analysis of random forest classifier, you can see the recall precision in F1 score. So the recall value, precision value in F1 score for the both the cases 0 and 1 has been shown. And here you can see the confusion matrix of the random forest classifier which contain two unprinted label of the both the cases 0 and 1. And coming to the next model that is decision tree classifier performance analysis you can see the recall precision and f1 score of this decision tree classifier for both the cases 0 and 1 and you can see the confusion matrix for the decision tree classifier which contains the true and label for the both the cases 0 and 1 
and final is the chart part so just click this chart may chart menu to be near to the chart but kindly note that this chart is also a static chart because we are not used any database in the project so first chart shows the comparison of the accuracy score so here you can see we have used two different models like random forest and decision tree classifier so random forest has the achieved the accuracy of 93 percentage and decision tree of about 92 percentage so that has been compared here and we have proved that our random forest performs better well than other model and coming to the next chart which contains the uh, the fake and real percentage that is the data set the which we have trained up with contains the fake account of 60 percentage and real account of 40 percentage data set record so that is being depicted here manually so that is what i said this is a static chart so the chart part contains the comparison of accuracy score and the data set comparison and now let me log out and this is all about the project Instagram fake account detection using machine learning using Python and thank you for watching.